Well, you guys got another video, five easy ways to delete undeletable files or folders. Now, if you've got files and folders on your computer that can't be deleted, I'm going to show you how you can do it in these simple methods. The first one is we got one here. What I'm going to do is open this up. And if you've got subfolders inside or files in there, you can still delete all of them using these simple methods. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to need to copy the path for this particular folder, because that's the method we're going to first use in command prompt. So open it up, click on the little folder icon here, and this will give you the path. Right click on it and copy it. We're going to save that for a little bit later. Open the start button and type CMD and then run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control and the black command prompt box will open up as administrator. All you need to do then is type out this simple command. So what we're going to do is type out uh, rm dir space and then we're going to do forward slash s and then space forward slash q and then space and then use your control key and v and this will paste it in push enter and that will delete uh, the actual folder and all the content inside of it it will be permanently erased so that is the first method that you can use another method is to install winrar you may be wondering why we need to install WinRAR, but if we add that folder to the archive, what it will do is it will allow us to delete the files after archiving. So yes, it's going to archive the files, but what it's gonna do is delete the content right there. So it's gonna force delete those, and you can see it's deleted the folder, but it's also created a new folder, which we can then right click and delete afterwards, just like so, because it's force deleted the folder after it's uh, created a archive of it. Next up, we can use ESUS Bitwiper. So I'm gonna download this and get this installed on the system. What this is also gonna do is allow us to shred the actual folder. Now there's quite a few different programs you can use that do shredding, uh, but this is just one that I just stumbled on, so I thought I'd add it in the video. Click on File Shredder here, and it will say Add Files or Add Folders. Click on Add Folder, and what we're going to do here is navigate to the actual folder. So my one is on the desktop. So what I need to do is hit my user account, desktop, select the folder, choose this one, and then we can click on shred. And this will shred that folder and remove it from the computer. And that should see that content be erased from the computer. As you can see here, it's now gone. I'll show you another way how to do this in also PowerShell because it's useful to know whether you want to delete stuff in PowerShell. So let me go ahead and we're going to put another one on the desktop here and I'll show you how to delete this in uh, PowerShell. So first off, what we're going to do is get the path. So open it up, go to that little top folder there, click on it and then copy the actual path for the actual file or folder that you're trying to delete. Next up, what we're going to do here is we're going to open up PowerShell, type PowerShell in the search, run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control. Another black prompt box will pop up. You'll see now it says uh, PowerShell there. And what you need to do is type out this command, which is remove dash item. So just type it out like so. Space, and then put it in recurse here. So just put that in, and then space. And then what we need to do is force, and then space, and then the path for the folder that we want to put in. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Press enter, and that should then uh, remove that from the computer. If you're still having issues with removing files and folders from your computer, there is some other things you can do, like taking ownership uh, of that folder and also trying to remove it in safe mode. I'm not going to show you that one because it is pretty straightforward, but just boot into safe mode and remove it there. Also, another way you can do it is boot up to a live environment, which is like a live CD, WinPE, or in the recovery console and delete it that way, and it should be removed. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.